what's up guys welcome back to my channel oh no what's up what's up co-stars what's up well i don't know if you're a co-star if you're in a co-star make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can become a co-star but what's up y'all welcome back to my channel i can't figure out how i'm about to say this from now on now that y'all actually have a name instead of guys like i don't know let me see let me practice okay you know what it's hard. I gotta practice that. I can't come up with one. I didn't did like three takes. Ain't nothing hitting. But welcome back to the channel if you have already been here before. If you're new, subscribe so you can become a co-star. Join the family, join the squad. I'm getting hot just from doing them couple of takes. So I'm in Starbucks line and I'm I'm all up in the camera like this because I don't know why the lighting is like this. It's like what is this bar across my face? I don't understand. But look at that. That hair, that hair got me feeling like I'm on a 90s music video the way it's flying though, okay? Get into it. Get into it. But yeah, I don't know why that line is like that. But I'm in Starbucks line right now. I'm about to give me a drink. Well, I already ordered my drink. I'm about to get it. And then we're going to head to the beauty supply store. And let's hope they got what I need for the low. I need to get two packs of hair. Um, The girl... Let me actually look on the girl website real quick. Who doing my hair? I'm getting a quick weave if I didn't say it already or if y'all didn't see it already. I'm getting a quick weave, a bob to be specific. And the girl who's doing it, she had like a list of like, why is this line on my head, child? She had a list of um beauty supply store hairs that she prefers her clients to get. So I'm going to go off of that list. Uh, I, it's funny because I actually looked at the list, but I can't remember none of the recommendations that she had up on there. I looked at the list a couple times and I just knew I was going to remember, but none of this time I don't remember. And then what's so crazy is today is July 13th and she goes on maternity leave August 1st. So I hope that I can get my appointment with no hiccups. You know, hopefully she don't go in labor or nothing on me. Okay, Empire Dream. I'm going to screenshot this. Empire Dream Weaver Goddess Remy or Velvet Remy. Get one of those packs of hair. I'm probably going to get Empire because I've gotten Empire before and I really like Empire. I actually got a pack of Empire in the house, but it's a number four, so that's not gonna work. Thank you. You need a straw? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, Joy. You too. Um, so yeah, I gotta get two packs of one B. I don't know if I wanna get 12 or 14 inches, like 112, 114, but I think I'm gonna just do two 12s because I don't even remember how much pack hair costs, but I hope it's not that expensive, Chad. I hope these two packs are hell no more than $100 because it's kind of pricey. It costs, um, how much this install costs? 125 the install is fairly cheap. So I love that for me. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hoping to spend less than $100 on the hair so that the whole thing as a whole ain't too crazy. What is wrong with this car? Do this car not know how to drive? You could have been with. God damn. Sorry, sorry y'all. Y'all know I be trying not to curse and I be trying to be on my femininity and all of that good stuff, but baby, sometimes I just can't help myself. Some days is better than others. Why this strawberry I say you so hot? You see what I'm saying? And it, you see what I'm, this ain't a good day for me. Mm. Let me not say that. This is a good day. This wasn't a good drink. And what just happened wasn't a good altercation. But it's gonna be a good day. But um, that's all. I'm gonna see y'all up at the beauty supply store because my head all over the place. All right, y'all. I guess the goods. I got my hair. And I was also able to stop at Walgreens and get some aloe vera gel. Allo, allo. My friend was just making fun of me for the way I say it. I say aloe vera gel. How y'all say it? But I got me some aloe vera gel so that when I take my braids down that's underneath my wig, I can really disentangle my hair without just ripping it out. And then I got me some press-ons. So I didn't know what I was going to do. I honestly didn't know if I wanted to do press-ons or did I want to do... um get like a full set but my nails are so freaking damaged and then i just find the cutest press-ons i actually meant to look for press-ons in the beauty supply store but 
they didn't have it. Well, I ain't gonna say they didn't have any. I forgot to look for some. So I walked in Walgreens and I instantly saw some super cute press-ons that I'm gonna show y'all when I get back to the house. Saw some really, really pretty um, press-ons and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just do some more press-ons because it's not a coincidence that I just saw these cute old press-ons. Like, they just too cute. So I don't know if I said this, but my hair, it was on sale. So I got two packs for $20 real good zeal y'all real good zeal so i ain't mad i'm getting everything done and everything knocked out the way so yay me i'm about to run in this currency exchange and i will see y'all back at the house and i'll show y'all everything so it's the next day and i'm um about to show y'all what i got so i ain't really get nothing i just got my hair the empire beauty two packs of hair for my bobby Annum. um and then I got the aloe vera gel. I don't know why this don't say aloe vera. It say, what it say? After sun gel. But this is what I'm about to use to detangle my hair right now. And then these are the press-ons I got that I'm gonna put on tomorrow or maybe Saturday. Super cute in summertime, right? Like, baby, I find the best press-ons. I need to do like a series on my channel of um, me finding press-ons. For some reason, I don't got no, um, like, wide tooth combs. I thought I did, but I can't find them. So, I probably need to just go ahead and buy one. But in the meantime, I'm going to just use this one. Y'all, my hair is so bad. I can't even tell y'all how long I've had these braids in. But it's been a while. It's been a while. Like, not even funny. I done been in the pool so many times with these same braids and everything. So... Oh, I forgot I sewed this up with a, um, then I had my leave out. Remember my little V-part wig? Who child? I done had these braids up for a minute. So I'm going to go through and cut the thread because I put thread in here. Ooh. I know this is about to be a process, child. I could just tell by how my hair is looking. I could just tell. So, ooh, I forgot I got a little braid right here on the side. It's just a lot going on. So, and my hair all greasy. So I'm gonna show y'all what I do on camera. I really don't do nothing. And I gotta take off my glasses anyway. Use this to detangle my hair. And I like this because it absorbs in my hair really, really good. And it don't leave, leave it with like a whole lot of residue and stuff. The last time I used it, that's what happened. So hopefully it's the same thing this time around. And I'm gonna just basically take some and just run it on each braid as I detangle and just keep it moisturized so it can have like some slip. That's what they're supposed to do. It's supposed to like give your hair some slip so that it's not pulling. So I'm gonna put some music on. I'm not gonna talk during this cause it's pretty self explanatory. And then I'm gonna play my girl Bondi while I do this to kill the time, she on here talking about the Ariane Curry um live that Ariane did and embarrassed herself a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna look at this video, watch this commentary and get a little kiki if you know you know. So cute yeah, music.
All right, y'all, so I'm done. This is how much hair I lost. So not a whole lot. Like, I, it normally be much more than that. So this method, I'm so happy I remembered it. Um, my friend Corinne told me about this like years ago. And I did it until I ran up out of my first one, which it really lasted a long time. But I'm running through this one much quicker because I used a lot this time. Y'all saw how much I was using. I was using globs. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all my little twist. I just twisted my hair up until um, the low vera dry. And then um, when it's dry on this side, because it's the last side I did. When it's dry on this side, I'm going to just take it all and put it up into a... Um, bun or something but whew. so now i'm about to go chill i'm about to um make me something to eat and just relax this video just went off at the perfect time it literally went off as soon as i was done so happy about that talk to y'all later all right y'all so we back in the same spot um so shit. i just got out the shower let me know, child, what's going on now? Let me know if y'all would like a um body slash, like skin, skin, body routine, shower routine, skincare routine, some content like that. I kind of want to do something like that. So let me know if y'all would like that. Um, Y'all see my natural curls? They look better on this side. They popping a little bit. Just a little bit. We don't get to see my natural curls too often. I um pulled my hair up in a ponytail because it was still so wet and it was still so much um aloe vera gel in my hair. And I just pulled it up in a ponytail, brushed it up, and it was super easy because it was already detangled and all of that. So I just brushed it up literally. I don't even think I, I didn't even use a brush, I just used my hand and gathered it in this ponytail and it, it um went into the ponytail real seamlessly. And then when I got in the shower, I just washed out um, all the product that was like in the actual ponytail. I just washed all of that out and it was a lot. It was so muddy, y'all. I know that girl gonna be blue when she see how dirty my hair is tomorrow because the inside is still dirty. It's just the uh, ponytail that got all the product out of it, but I'll be sure to tip her well trying to fix okay that's a little bit better one of these years i'm gonna actually wear my natural tresses one of these years but for now i want to get into um the teeth whitening portion of the video so i'm gonna talk to you guys and show you what i'm doing because it's my first time showing this on my channel so this is the teeth whitening kit that i use this teeth whitening kit is um linked in my amazon store i think it's pretty cheap it's only like 15 dollars so if you want to find this teeth whitening kit just check it out in my amazon store that's linked in the description box and then i have this um this is the actual led light that i'll be using and i got this a couple years ago from smile direct club this was prior to me having braces i was thinking about getting smile direct club instead and so i went there for a consultation and um in my consultation they gave me like this free thing just to have it was just like a perk of going to a consultation never ended up getting the services as you know i got braces and i did that whole journey so yeah but i've always held on to this um i've always held on to this led accelerated light and so recently I found it somewhere and I was like, okay, because y'all know I did the Crest 3D white strips whitening process. I did that on my channel as well. I showed you guys that whole process and I really did like doing it. I really did like the results, but I just felt like it was just too messy and it's very expensive. Crest 3D white strips, baby, they not cheap. They like 30, 40, upwards of 50, $60. So I was like, I need to find me something cheaper and I have this light. Let me just try something else. So, did a little bit of research on Amazon, looked at a couple reviews, and I ended up seeing this kit, which seems to have really good reviews overall. So, I was like, let me, well, this isn't, even, this isn't the first one I got. The first one I got, I ordered, it never even came. So, that's what led me to get my refund back from Amazon, then go back on there again, and I found this one. And this is going to be my third day using this one, so I've already used it, so I kind of know what it's hitting for. 
I really do like it, you guys. The results are super, super fast. You see results after the first use, and I guess it's because of the, the LED light. You know what I'm saying? Like, this really, really works. The gel doesn't taste like anything. The gel is pretty much tasteless. You do not taste it. That's something that I do appreciate. I feel like with the Crest Strips, it has a, a slight taste to it, like a slight chemical taste. This literally tastes like nothing is in your mouth at all. And so this comes with three syringes and they say you're supposed to use like one fourth of a syringe or one third of each syringe per use. But I use a little bit less. I don't know why, but I just don't need to use as much. So that's that. Um, so this with this being my third day, I'm supposed to be done with my first syringe, but I'm not because it's just I just don't use that much product. Um and then the thing about the LED light, the accelerator that I want to mention really quickly is that it's supposed to cut off after 10 minutes on its own. Mine does not do that. So you either have to time it or just pay attention. I'll use it for upwards of 20, 30 minutes and then I'll take it out. I don't know if that's bad or not, but that's just what I do. So yeah. So this is how they come packaged. The three syringes is really simple, you guys. Nothing so crazy. I have like pretty much a little bit less than half in my first syringe. And this is my third time using a syringe. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm using too little, but I feel like with the amount that I'm using, I'm actually seeing results and it's working. So I'm just going to keep using the same amount that I'm using. That's better for me. I get by. Oh, man, I dropped my. Skip it. I can buy less product. I don't have to replace it so soon. So I'm not mad at that fact. And then it also comes with this little whitening chart that you can use. I've never used the whitening chart, but I just wanted to show you guys. So now you just uh, put the accelerator in your mouth, but you need something to, oh child, come on now. You need something to um, plug the accelerator into. Now the cord is pretty short, so you might have to plug it into your laptop or something like that. I'm not really sure. But luckily for me, I have my trusty dusty fan and it has a charging port. So I just charge it into my fan. I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep my fan on while I do it, but I'm about to try. And then you just do it for 10, 20 minutes, girl. And that's it. That's, it's as simple as that. So I'm going to show y'all what my teeth look like before. And then I'm going to come back and show y'all what my teeth look like after. All right, y'all. So I just um, took it out and I'm going to show y'all a close up of my teeth but I do want to say that um you're supposed to brush your teeth before you use that teeth whitening gel that's something that's a little bit different when I was doing the Crest 3D white strips you ain't you were supposed to not brush your teeth like I mean you were supposed to not have brushed your teeth within like an hour or two hours or some time before you use the strips because it would irritate your gums but this, you're supposed to wash your teeth before, I mean, I'm sorry, wash your teeth. You're supposed to brush your teeth before you do this so that any residue that you have on your teeth can, like, get off from whatever you was eating for the day or whatever the case may be. And the, the gel can really penetrate. So that's something that's different. And I love this, you guys. So make sure you guys check out the link to this teeth whitening kit in my Amazon store. I don't have the one link that already comes with, like, the little light because I have my own light. So you may have to look for that one, but just the refills of the gel that is linked in my store. So check that out. It is a little nip nip. It wasn't cold in the house. Quest just asked me was I cold in the house and I wasn't, but it's cold outside. So it's time to head to my appointment, you guys. The pony looking a crazy mess. I'm happy I didn't get a car wash. I was looking at my car. The other day, and I'm like, oh, my car is filthy. I need to get a wash. But I am so happy I didn't because it's raining. This don't make no sense, y'all. Ugh. The place that I need to be at to get my hair done, it says that I'm not going to get there until 12.55. 51 minutes away from me. You know what? I'm going to take this whole way. It ain't gonna, it's only gonna knock off a couple minutes because I need to stop and give me something to eat and drink. Like, I am hungry, I have not, not eaten all day, so I, I just can't. I can't, I can't, I can't even do that to myself because I don't know how long it's about to be. The girl's talking about 
and her um on her booking site it say like be prepared to sit up in the shop for up to six hours. I said six hours, girl. Six hours? I'm not prepared to sit in the shop for six hours, but with that being said, I just need to give me something to eat just in case. Okay, the cheapest way is 43 minutes. Okay, not much of a difference to say I'll get there 1248. I, I gotta stop getting some of these though. Your girl, I gotta pay attention. I'm like my nose. Your girl just finished getting her hair done. It's giving grown and sexy. It's giving I'm a woman. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm gonna show y'all the whole do when we get up in the house. I'm about to head my tail back to my neck of the woods. Baby, it says it's gonna take me an hour and one minute to get home, child. And I gotta stop at Target because I got an order pickup that I need to get. And I also need to give me some food, girl. All I had was a frappe. All I had was a frappe and um a fry from McDonald's. So I need to give me something to eat. This is so cute. I cannot wait to talk about it when we get in the house. It's really giving grown with my leather jacket. <laughs> I cannot wait to talk about it. I cannot wait to talk about it. But all right, y'all. All right, I'm gonna see y'all when I get in the house. I'm back in the house. I hope the lighting get right. Let's hope. That's kind of who y'all right here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So I'm back in the house and this is the hair. She did what she had to do, okay? It's giving grown. And sexy. I'm gonna turn around to the back so y'all can see. You know, it's giving. Excuse me. What did you say? <laughs> it's cute though. I really like it. Um, she had to cut some of my hair because you know your girl hair is long. Like truth be told, my hair is long. My hair come like right here, so she did have to cut some. But oh man. I really do like it. It's refreshing. It's definitely refreshing compared to what I normally get. The only thing is my little bang yang. I have to keep like pulling it out my face, but that ain't a big deal. So I love it. Um, I will make sure her name is somewhere on the screen. And then I wanted to show you guys this um body butter that I got from Ulta. I think I saw Naturally Sunny on YouTube talking about this, I believe. I believe it is recyclable, clean, and vegan. I think it's called Kopari, 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 Kopari. Y'all know, I can't pronounce. I think it's called Kopari though. Kopari Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid. I've been meaning to get me a body butter because the lotions I've been using have been trash based on their rating on the Yuka app. And then I, I just won't. I just really wanted a body butter. Like the lotion just wasn't cutting it for me. It smells good. I'm not mad at the scent. It um get instant and restorative hydration hydration for dry, distressed skin. Um with hyaluronic acid, prickly pear, and coconut oil. So yeah, let me um let me get my phone so we can scan it. Oh, here we go. All right, let's scan it. So this is what the Yuka app looks like. That right there. So you just go to the app. <clears throat> and then these are my other products that I've already scanned. And as you can see, a lot of them say that they bad. So you just go to it and then you go to the bottom and you click scan. <laughs> I talked about this in my uh, one of my weekly vlogs if you don't know what it's coming from. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so that you can know and be up on a on the up and up. Okay, so you just scan the barcode. Y'all, look what it got. Pretty. 
freaking six out of ten. And this stuff was $30. I'm mad. It got a lot of hazardous ingredients. So didn't it tell you everything that's in it that's bad for you? I normally just read the first one, what makes the first one bad. That's really low though. Six out of ten. It say this one is I can't pronounce it, but it's an allergen and an irritant. <sighs> it's a synthetic fragrance ingredient which has been banned for use in cosmetic products in Europe since March first. 2022 because it is suspected of being harmful to human fertility wow 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 i gotta um get my clip for my hair and i was trying to stay away shoot <laughs> and i was trying to stay away from the products that mess with your fertility um the second ingredient says that it's primarily used as a preservative. It is regulated and its concentrate concentration cannot exceed one percent of the finished product. Some studies indicate toxic effects or effects on blood and liver. It is also suspected to have effects on the hormones and fertility. In addition, it is an eye irritant. Finally, it is sometimes responsible for contact allergies, but reactions are rare. And that's for the second ingredient. That's a mo moderate risk. <sighs> I'm so irritated by that. I really thought I was on to something. And it's like once I scan something on the Yuka app and I get the results, I... I'm going to use it because I bought it, but I'm like less inclined to want to use it because it's like, I know that it's bad for me. You know, it's like that the thought of what the Yuka app said is always in the back of my mind at that point. So it's just very frustrating. Maybe I should have used it a little bit, got halfway through before I scanned it. Because, um, Gina, let me at least put a little bit on my knee and see how I like it. I like how it feels. But, I don't know. $30? And it got hyaluronic acid in it? I really wanted to get this $80 moisturizer that Kai, I don't know if it's a body butter or moisturizer, but one of the two that Kyra mentioned in her like body care routine video. I really wanted to get that, but it's $80 and either I'm going to have to get it and don't scan it until I'm done with it or scan it before I get it. Because if I pay $80 for a moisturizer and it come up bad up on this app. We're going to have a problem. We're going to have to return her back to the store. So, that's all for now, you guys. Um, Got to do my nails, but today is Friday. We're going to be doing the nails tomorrow on Saturday. And then we're going to be getting the pedicure done tomorrow. And then we're pretty much done with this a good old maintenance vlog. But y'all know I can't leave y'all without a beat. So, we will be doing a little beat. I don't know if I'm going to show y'all or whatever, whatever. Y'all going to see but um so yeah that's all for now you guys i will talk to y'all later
all right you guys so that's all for this month's maintenance vlog i hope you all enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave me a thumbs up <laughs> a comment down below and hit that subscribe button y'all i am feeling this here just one more time one more time in the outro hmm hmm what was that hmm Ooh. catch on in my next one